Hi friends, Gene Burnett from GeneBurnett.com. Hey, I'm going to use a waterway metaphor here today. Be like water. In other words, keep flowing, keep moving, uh, be an open stream rather than a swamp. Right? Don't be a swamp with slim channels of circulation surrounded by stagnation. Be a stream moving and alive. This way, when something unhealthy comes into your body, an insult of some kind or another, it hits a stream that carries it through and out of you. You're in an immediate and active relationship with that insult, as opposed to the swamp where things move slowly and sometimes not at all, and things stick around and cause more problems because there's more muck and mud and, and interference, right? That interference can be extra weight you're carrying around. It can be extra deadness, just lack of aliveness in a certain area. It can be tension, just muscular tension. It can be just a, a muscular apathy, like a, just a, like a limp, don't care attitude in your muscles. There's some simple ways to make your body more of a stream than a swamp. And you don't have to become a fitness uh, lunatic or anything. Just improve your posture and alignment. Uh, there's plenty of disciplines out there that are about posture, from Tai Chi to yoga to all kinds of postural trainings. And improving your posture does not take more than minutes a day. You start correcting your posture when you're in some kind of a still situation, and pretty soon your body will recognize that you're going to be checking for this, and it will just start checking for you before you even get to the place where you consciously check it. It'll start doing what you want it to do. So improving your posture and alignment is a no-brainer. Make it easy for gravity to move through you instead of sending it sideways, laterally through your body in all kinds of tension patterns. Make it easy for gravity to go through you. Make it easy for the circulatory channels in your body to do their work. Don't block the flow of nerve signals, blood, lymph, and God knows what else circulates in our body. Make space in your body, not stuff. So you do that, first of all, by just improving your posture and alignment, right? Develop basic muscle strength. You don't have to be a, 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 a CrossFit, you know, gym rat. Just do one push-up five times a day. Perfect posture, though. Not boom, but from the ground all the way up, all the way down keeping your back relatively straight. Just do that five times a day, every day. It takes less than a minute total. And if you're not in shape, believe me, in a week or two you will feel that. And the pain, the difficulty of doing five push-ups a day at intervals, I'm not saying all at once even, just one in the morning, one in the mid-morning, one at noon, one in the afternoon. <laughs> it's not that hard. So develop basic muscle strength. There's all kinds of help on YouTube and elsewhere. Just develop basic muscle strength. It doesn't have to, you don't have to be cut. Moderately strong is fine. And then another thing that's really, really good is do things that put it all together, that are not limited to the exercise of just doing the push-up or the, the machines or whatever. Uh, find th at least one thing that you can do in your life that puts it all together, like tennis, martial arts, uh, anything that's not predictable, that's not the same. Whole body work with variations, preferably involving some kind of targeting, preferably that get your heart going a bit. Doesn't have to be high level aerobics. Just enough to tell your body you're still in the game. Something that gets your attention. It can be walking with a little bit more purpose and, and speed than you're used to. Just a little bit more that you have to put it together. You have to pay attention. Not the trudging around looking at your phone that passes for walking. Not that autopilot zombie shit. Really walking, right? It can be dancing. As long as you're conscious of your movements, not throwing yourself around haphazardly, but feeling the connections in your body. You're putting all of your, your, your strengths and attributes together in some way. Something that's not a rote fix the same exercise type thing. All these things will help contribute to your body being more of a stream than a swamp. And they're, they're kind of the simple ones. Diet can be a little more complicated. And if you have trouble in that area, it's, it, it might be good to get a coach or get some help 
to help you, um, you know, eat in a way that gives you more energy, eat in a way that keeps you uh, moving rather than makes you go. <laughs> so um, uh, I'm looking at more of the, the physical things because I'm a Tai Chi teacher and that's kind of my main focus of, of uh, attention when it comes to this quality of having a, a body that's a stream where things circulate through it things you breathe, things you eat, things you take on in the world that, that they can move through rather than hit the swamp and then take forever to slowly sift through the, through the stuff. So, okay, that's my little pitch for a stream over swamp. Um, don't despair if you feel swampy. I have felt many a swamp in my life, in my uh, different areas of my life and in my body, and I have systematically, slowly improved all of them by doing the type of things that I'm recommending here. They're, they're, you don't have to be a nut. You just have to put, develop consistent, a little consistent practice and attention on things like posture or developing basic strength or finding a way to improve your balance, a way to kind of tie it all together. These are all simple things that might take, I don't know, 20 minutes or a half an hour out of your day, but It'll point you towards the streaming, <laughs> run away from the swamping. <laughs> so that's my, my pitch talk today. All right, you take care. And uh, if you want more information on anything I do, visit jeanburnett.com. If this is helpful, let me know. Helpful com uh, comments that things are helpful always make my day. All right, y'all take care.